I commend the New South Wales Premier for the way that she is handling uh, the outbreak in New South Wales, the fact that she hasn't gone to lock down Australia's biggest city. I commend uh, Premier Berejiklian uh, for resisting going into a full lockdown. Two days later. From 6pm today, all of Greater Sydney, the Blue Mountains, the Central Coast and Wollongong will go into a lockdown with stay-at-home orders in place until midnight Friday the 9th of July. I commend uh, Premier Berejiklian uh, for resisting going into a full lockdown. We have harsher restrictions in place than any other state has ever had. We'll be announcing now that uh, New South Wales will be, or Greater Sydney, will be in lockdown for a further four weeks till the 28th of August. New South Wales is the gold standard. New South Wales is the gold standard. I want me go! Gladys Berejiklian and New South Wales have been the gold standard. I want me go! The New South Wales gold standard. Gold! Their gold standard, not just in this country, but anywhere around the world. I want me go! I'm very proud every time the Prime Minister regards New South Wales as a gold standard. They have a tracing capability that can do with outbreaks. Every state should learn from New South Wales. I think that's a very clear uh, message from what we've seen. That is where we have to get everybody to. As I've said before, um, you know, in the next six months, premiers of other states may not feel the heat from their decisions, but um, in 12 months' time, when their unemployment rates in double digits, uh, that will be a horrible situation. Can I say first and foremost how inspired and proud I am of the leadership of the Morrison government? <laughs> And can I acknowledge the efforts in particular of Treasurer Frydenberg, who's here? Do you understand why it's happened, why Victoria is in this situation? I mean, as you know, uh, it's been the same virus nationwide, indeed globally. It's been the same quarantine facilities that have been uh, able to be accessed in New South Wales as in Victoria. It's been the same technology with respect to QR code systems that are available in New South Wales as in Victoria. I fear for Victoria and I worry about what their government may do. And we made sure that uh, we had the systems in place to be able to weather whatever came our way so that we wouldn't ever go into lockdown again. From 6 p.m. today, lockdown, 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 so that we wouldn't ever go into lockdown again. Greater Sydney will be in lockdown, in lockdown, in lockdown, in lockdown for a further four weeks till the 28th of August. So I talked about good management being critical during a, during a crisis, but so is trust. And we trusted our public, we trusted our community when we gave them advice to do the right thing. The crowd grew so fast with hardly a mask in sight, onwards they marched from Broadway to Town Hall. Once at Town Hall they took every vantage spot. From high above the numbers were staggering. And in New South Wales we didn't make up lists of who was an essential worker. Nobody can work outside of that local government area uh, unless, unless they're a health or, or aged care worker or on the list of critical workers. Can I make it very clear that New South Wales, unlike other states, uh, has never determined what is essential and what is not essential. From midnight tonight, we will also uh, make sure that only critical retail remains open. We have a list of what is critical retail. And in New South Wales, we didn't make up lists of who was an essential worker. On the list of critical workers, we didn't make up lists. We have a list. We didn't make up lists. We have a list. We didn't make up lists. We've considered carefully what is on that critical list. And I hope we've demonstrated in New South Wales there is an alternate way to heavy-handed lockdowns and heavy-handed approaches. Uh, well, we have harsher restrictions in place than any other state has ever had. Even during the lockdown, our construction sites were still going. But until July 30, until midnight on July 30, there will be a pause on all construction, large or small. We know that when, when you're in a lockdown, it's easy to control the virus. It's much easier to lock down because you don't have to worry about anything. We're very courageous when it comes to the virus. There have been no delays. In the introduction of the vaccine in Australia, there has been the necessary swiftness. We anticipate uh, optimistically uh, that we would hope to start the vaccination uh, with around 80,000 vaccinations a week. That's what we are targeting. And, uh, and then seeing that build up over the next four to six weeks. Um, and we hoped by the end of February, uh, end of March, I should say, to have, to have reached some four million uh, population. Uh, that is a target, um, 
That is what we are working to. It's not a race. You've got to get it right. But we've always been treating this with the greatest of urgency. It's not a race. It's not a competition. With the greatest of urgency. It's not a race. But we've always been treating this with the greatest of urgency. You know, it's not a race. It's not a competition. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the, the delay on the interview That's uh, okay. is causing a problem. But anyway, go ahead. wouldn't have been surprised, though, that the other states knocked back your request for more Pfizer doses, given that just last month you said that we couldn't give our Pfizer, or New South Wales couldn't give its Pfizer to Victoria. Uh, well, I'm not sure what comments you're referring to. But oh, I heard that Victoria wants some of our Pfizer no, vaccines. They're no, not getting no. it. No, I can't. The green shoots are there. The green shoots of the lockdown doing what we hoped it would are certainly there. This is growing gangbusters. Now, the lockdown is having its desired effect to date, no doubt about that. Keep doing what you are doing is that the green shoots are starting to show... It's growing gangbusters. We want to make sure we have a no-regrets policy. If it were not for the leadership of Prime Minister Morrison and his vision of making sure that we dealt with this crisis as much on an economic footing than a health footing, Australia would not be in the position it is today. And I can tell you that as a matter of fact. Get vaxxed, baby, baby. Get vaxxed, baby. Get vaxxed, get vaxxed, baby, baby. So get vaccinated, baby. Mm -hmm. Get vaxxed, baby, baby. Get vaxxed, baby. Get vaxxed, get vaxxed, baby, baby. So get vaccinated, baby. Mm -hmm. Get vaxxed, baby, baby. Get vaxxed, baby. Get vaxxed, get vaxxed, baby, baby. So get vaccinated, baby. Mm -hmm.